Okay, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Hussain Kazi here. The facilitator for the uh, subject SBR, AFM, and FM, and FM as well. So uh, they are here for the sake of SBR question practice course. And the particularly screen here mentioned that, and the particularly screen here mentioned that a very specific. Uh, statement is mentioned. Are you people re really worried uh, how to handle the SBR exam practice and drafting techniques? So join that particular course, SBR QPC question practice course. And this support, this course, inshallah, uh, will provide you the right direction for the practicing the question towards the success of the exam. Towards the success of the exam, inshallah. So, a quick brief introduction from my side. My name is Hussain Kazi, Alhamdulillah, more than one and a, a 1.5 decades of uh, teaching experience of ACC qualification. Currently associated with Abani School of Accountancy, uh, the exclusive platinum status college in South region of Pakistan. Alhamdulillah, I've conducted multiple time AC, uh, ACCA practice to pass sessions and not only the practice to pass other sessions as well locally and internationally. Uh, by profession, I'm a charter certified accountant and also serving as director in HRS Network, HRS Network uh, a global leading accountancy and business process outsourcing firm. My WhatsApp number is 0092-321-827-1784 and you can contact me uh, during the official time accordingly. Candidates, number one, you must have to very much clear about the objective of this particular course, the objective of this course. The objective is, the prime objective is that, the prime objective is that this course actually to develop a bridge or overcome the gap so that means bridging the gap or over the overcome the gap between the examiner expectation and your current preparation. It simple means if you are going with the wrong direction for the execution of the exam, which is not actually meeting the examiner expectation or the requirement, this course actually support you or this course actually develop you the right direction to mitigate the gap between your uh, preparation and the actual examiner expectation. This course is exclusively about the practice course. So I'm assuming that you people already have the knowledge of the slavers. So this is exclusively about the latest exam practice question you will get by the next session the complete roadmap which the which one uh, with what will be the questions i will discuss accordingly either with the question one groups or the ethics or the section b parts but this is all about the practice pra practicing the questions that is the key point to consider here furthermore with this session I will definitely discuss how to draft your answer, which actually meets the examiner requirement, but also with my suggested solution, but also some exam smart techniques, exam smart techniques, work hard and hard working is, is important. Yes, that's true, but simultaneously, the smart techniques uh, will support you to quickly get the marks and easily cross the 50 marks. So smart techniques is also important. Huh? Before moving forward, before moving forward, before moving forward, I wanted to share a very important thing with you people that uh, the students who are taking the live session know very well that immediate before immediate start 
starting of immediate before the starting of this session i made a survey from the sbr students that's what challenge what challenges right now they are actually facing means during the practice of the question what actual challenge they are facing so by summarizing the thing that's a heading of random survey immediate before the start of sbr qbc and you people replied the student replied the real challenges the number one with respect to exam structure you people have a fear and you people have a concern that i'm not able to manage the type we are facing the issues related to drafting techniques we have a concern about how to plan the answer and also have a fear about the cb practice so definitely this qpc must have to overcome these real challenges as well number 2 the slabus area i just randomly asked the slabus area the students normally faces that's financial instrument that's definitely challenging leases someone says leases someone says defer tax ifrs2 is19 ifrs15 groups and student says this is about accounting standard but other part of the slabus ethics current issues and performance measures so that is what based on this survey may be possible if you are watching my video uh, some other challenge you uh, you are facing accordingly you can coordinate me through the whatsapp or the email but that's that's a, a random survey the students uh, face the challenge so it's my responsibility to indulge all these things within my course and may allah willing inshallah i will do that so uh, come up with the um, content of today's session that's the orientation session so as i said earlier that the pure objective is to bridging the gap between the examiner expectation and your preparation practicing the question practicing practicing the questions exam techniques that's a smart and suggested solution moreover the agenda of the today's session it's about the discussion related to these seven points the first session is about a soft element of the sbr i'm not i will not discuss any technical point from the today's session but the soft element number 1 the first thing i will discuss balanced approach balanced approach means your revision your preparation must be in a balanced approach to cover the entirety of the syllabus entirety of the syllabus number 2 we during the session we will uh, try to read the examiner mindset examiner mindset that's what's the actual examiner expectation so you have to develop your track according to the examiner expectation number 3 what is inside the syllabus the syllabus thing is very important important you have to uh, focus the thing when i, I will discuss the inside the syllabus sbr exam diagnosis the analysis about the exam sub pass exams what should be the sbr practice techniques and moreover what your real challenges that you earlier said to me and how to overcome this and finally how qpc will execute that is what about the agenda of the today session can you please reply me are you happy till now is that all clear to all of you is my voice clear is my screen clear is my video clear all things happy okay so one by one so for the sake of the revision for the sake of the revision the very important point you have to focus that your approach 
your approach for the coverage of the syllabus and the revision of the syllabus must be balanced must be balanced sir what is the meaning of a balance number one you people must have to aware that there are five components of the syllabus five components number one ifrs the all the accounting standards number two conceptual framework number three ethics ethical implications number four performance measurement and number five current development sir we know very well these are the five components but what do you mean about the balance approach based on past analysis based on past paper analysis based on the survey you know that the entirety the entire exam paper the ifrs reflect 60% of the paper approx huh? 60 65 55 70 like this average 60% your average exam paper reflect 10% of conceptual framework ethical implication most reflect 7% also integrated with accounting and other issues but pure ethical integration 7% current development reflect almost 8 9 10 12 percent every 8 percent and the performance measurement reflect 10 to 17 18 percent approx 15 percent so number one whenever you start whenever you are preparing or whenever you are starting revision of your sbr and for example if you allocate or you are making a strategy that i will spend 100 hours 100 hours to my entire revision or entire syllabus so your 100 hours must be spread with this proportion and this is called balance approach normally students spend 90 percent of the time over ifrs in fact immediate before the session I made a survey where majority of the paper, majority of your people only show the concern about IFRS. Am I right or wrong? Am I right or wrong? Majority of the paper, majority of the students only show the concern related to IFRS and normally you do the same almost 85 90 percent of the time spent for IFRS I know that I'm not saying that you must not cover the entire IFRS cover this IFRS but the importance of the IFRS is a major part but 60 65 70 but remaining 30, 35, 40 percent reflect the other part of the studies as well. So your revision must be in a balanced approach. At least out of 100, 12 to 15 percent of time, 12 to 15 hours out of 100 hours, if you look at 100 hours. 12 to 15 hours must be spent for performance measurement and integrate with the other syllabus area. Ethics and integrate with the other syllabus area at least 7%. How to handle current development? Spend at least 8% of the time, 8 to 10%. Do remember, I will discuss later on about current development. Examiner not necessarily to ask something specifically with the requirement of current development sometimes examiner nothing mention about the current development issues but integrate with the question for example recent the acc published the exam of march june 22 exams paper where examiner examined the artificial intelligence issue if a company have made a setup of artificial artificial intelligence 
how to account for or how to report in the financial statement if they invest with the artificial intelligence method or of course high tech companies using this the artificial artificial the ai so not compulsory that something exposure drop or technical articles same reflect the current development maybe the current environment that's reflect with the exam cryptocurrency non fungible tokens already examined earlier so hold on focus the first thing is that balance approach so you must be committed from now that's yes from now i have to revise or complete our syllabus area or revise our syllabus area according to this proportion and we will do with the qpc course with the same approach the first thing number 2 the second agenda is about examiner mindset but the today's second agenda the examiner mindset number 1 if you are doing in your life if you are doing any of the project for example if your manager assigned you some task so first of all you have to understand that what the expectation of the manager from this task same case here same case if examining team and the acca body has published the syllabus with some expectation mentioned by the examiner so you must have to focus your studies according to the examiner mindset rather than develop your own strategy with the destination you don't know or even examiner don't know what your where what your destination so sir how can we understand or how can we read the examiner mindset why not why not there are some specific statement mentioned by the examining team you know very well that previously you studied the subject called f sorry the subject called for example pm if you previously for example if you previously studied the subject pm the advance is apm you previously studied the subject double a the advance is triple a previously subject is fm financial management advance advance financial management tx that is advance taxation but you studied the subject fr why not the subject name is afr but the subject name is sbr because the syllabus includes afr because sbr is equal to advance accounting standard that's afr plus four more things that is ethics that is performance measurement that is conceptual framework that is current issues so that's very much important here examiner says the paper is not financial reporting it's strategic business reporting and the strategic business reporting it's more than advance accounting sir so this point also connected with this part that i previously discussed thus we are more concerned 90 95% concerned and some of the students even leave these areas of the syllabus we will handle during the exam least concerned about the four things but the examiner says no this is the paper it's not about financial reporting advancement it's more than that so that is the paper of sbr strategic business reporting number 1 number 
examiner is particularly mentioned we need to assess we need to determine the ability of a student how she or he can demonstrate to explain your answer explain your answer so for example if you attempted the paper of fr and for example if you do the calculation for let's suppose is 36 impairment that is entirely based on calculation like financial statement extract but here your examiner is expecting that here examiner expecting that with this example for example you are an accountant of british airways british airways and you are responsible for making this financial statement okay but what your examiner expecting for example one of the transaction made by british airways after covid 19 they have renovated all the aircraft this is renovation this is the transaction and you as, as an accountant you as an accountant with respect to f7 just make calculation and make financial statement extract but your examiner here expecting an sbr like this person what this person is doing this person is doing actually presenting about whatever the calculation behind this transaction examiner expecting this but there is some limit there there is limitation during exam that you cannot stand and present but examiner expecting to present with the writing manner with a writing manner so that is the key point and that is the point the examiner expecting you that is the point explain your working means demonstrate your your ability that i can explain i can re represent in front in front on someone so two things examiner expectation this is more than ifr this is about explanation of the work explain the accounting principle behind the calculation it's a key point this is examiner statement this is not mine i just copy paste here candidates will have to demonstrate range of skill abilities including accounting issues and relevant concepts if you haven't started the writing manner till now start writing from today And some one of some some people replied me that from the survey that we are challenging, we are facing challenge for the writing of the accounting standard. Two things important. Number one, examiner never expect to answer your question exactly as per the standard required standard or the book's wording. You have to explain the Slavers area like accounting issues, like performance measurement issues, ethical issues with your own wordings. And I can bet on this. If you people study, already study the IES 36, for example, in F7, and some of you people covered in SBR. And if I say to you that write IES 36, believe me, you will be able to write the thing. Not 100% accurate but 70-75% at the first glance that's the first thing start writing get rid of this fear that I'm not able to write second important thing uh, reply me at the time of birth any of the human being including us are able to walk and run any of the human being at the time of birth are we able to walk and run no never it's a nature we learned something at the time of early childhood we crawl yet then take one steps and then definitely over the period of time 
facing difficulties, problems, injuries, and that is called up and down. Some steps up, down, up, down, and then now become able to walk or run. So it's a nature. First up, whenever you uh, do the things first time, that is the point of crawling. That's not the perfection. And even human being can never be perfect. Only the Allah, only the God Allah, that's reflect the perfection. Our responsibility to keep the things move. So important thing is that keep the, keep the things forward. And one motivating factor for you people. Do you know that? Examiner never expect that you must have to you, you must have to write the accurate answer. Examiner expecting with this paper to write your judgment only. To write your judgment only. That's all. Write your judgment only. With a logical structure. What will be the logical structure? I will tell you. Logical means first explain the principle. Then connect with the case. No worries if the conclusion is wrong. If examiner asking about the artificial intelligence or the cryptocurrency, you know that even right now, there is no accounting standard exactly how to deal with the cryptocurrency. Then how it's possible that examiner expecting that you will uh, write your answer the perfect manner, right manner about the cryptocurrency. Examiner just assess, just want to assess. Just want to do assess. <coughs> I'm sorry. What is the caliber of your knowledge? And how can you respond? So be energetic, be motivated and develop the right direction. Meeting the examiner expectations. That's a point. Another point. <clears throat> we always, we always study the thing <clears throat> in the accounting, basic accounting, in the finan financial reporting and major area of the SBR as well. As an accountant to make financial statement. Our role as an accountant. But here examiner says that SPR is not only to think as an accountant, but also with viewpoint of user. Also with viewpoint of user. For example, <clears throat> if I say that, can you please reply me? IS40, what is this standard about? Quick, quick. IS40, what is, what is this accounting standard about? IS40, quick. Investment property. What are the two basic principles as an accountant to report the financial statement? Number one, cost model. Number two, fair value model. Cost model, fair value model. Cost model, fair value model. Yes. As an accountant, we know that. How to make the cost, how to report with cost model, how to report with the fair value model. But we need to, we need to also think about that. If as an accountant, we report with a cost model, how the user, how the user <clears throat> receive that information and this information reflect to the user's, user's decision making. On the other hand, if the we use the fair value method. How this fair value method reflect to the decision of the user of the financial statement. For example, do you agree that cost model is a consistent model? Constant depreciation. Uniformity. Cons consistency. Over the period, regularly with the same amount, the investment property values decreases in the statement of financial position. Income statement, same reflection of depreciation. But fair value model, this model is good because as per the reporting date, we will report according to the fair value. 
बट ओवर द फाइव इयर्स समटाइम्स फेयर वेल इंक्रीज समाइम डिक्रीज इंक्रीज डिक्रीज सो इफ यूजर एनालाइज द सिचुएशन अबाउट द फेयर वेल मॉडल दैट्स नॉट रिफ्लेक्ट द कंसिस्टेंसी दैट्स डिफिकल्ट to assess the situation about situation about the future that's difficult to consider about the situation or make any decision so last 30 seconds i am discussing the point not as the preparer not as the preparer of the corporate report but the investor perspective as well can you please reply me are you getting the point these are examiner expectation ability to explain the answer not necessarily perfect the paper is not only about fr it's more than fr with respect to performance measurement our point of view almost 10% of the slippers area our point of view must be as a investor perspective Hello can you please reply me are you with me That's a point another important the third point quickly the third quick point stay bus inside you must have to aware there are five areas of the slavers accounting standards you have you can split your revision in these part number one group accounts and by the way we will start our qpc complete session with the group accounts first of all we will cover how to handle the question 1 30 marks question how to cover that group accounts so number one group accounts number two you can work out with the extensive standard number 3 less extensive standard number 4 prior knowledge how these work these are the group accounts i'm not uh, reading right now the name of standards huh? that's a group accounts once i will start the group account then we will read the standard according number 2 extensive ifrs extensive ifrs these are financial instrument tax employee benefit share base these revenue So you can split the labor area and revision as well. Left side less extensive, less extensive only for SBR. You never study related party in tariff reporting operating segment so on. Right side the pre prior knowledge. Do remember prior knowledge standard. Can you please reply me? Are you getting the uh, voice clearly to me? Um, sorry, are you getting the voice clear? All things are clear. Can you please reply me? Okay. So what I I was saying that prior knowledge standard doesn't mean examiner will not ask or will ask a little bit things or with a lower side about the prior knowledge. Examiner favorite standards are thirty eight, very favorite, thirty seven, very favorite. Uh, these standards are important. Yes, IS forty one is excluded from the slabus area. We can say that it's not the part of the slabus area right now. Uh, you can consider that that skip from the slabus area. Yes. examiner more concern about the f7 okay performance measurement this is examiner statement sbr exam will require candidates to adopt stakeholder or investor focus in answering some question so actually you people prepare the performance measurement not focusing what the examiner is expecting you just study the performance measurement area with like we are we deal with the question paper uh, as accountant no 
and by the way there are four professional marks two related to ethics section a question section a question two and two related to this investor perspective matter that section b part how to handle that marks we will discuss conceptual framework conceptual framework conceptual framework have do reply me have you really studied be honest be honest reply me have you ever studied this particular topic with sincerity never you never covered this topic with the sincerity and what examiner wordings here i will give you by initial days i will give you a very detailed draft that's a, a complete draft from my side you have to read at least three to four times and we will discuss the conceptual framework matter within the question inside so just reading the things is not important it's not only the coverage of slavers application that's very much important okay moreover ethics you people covered the ethics area since your earlier studies like f4 law like double a and like uh, um, other papers as well here the sbr basic contents remain same that's the principle of acca code of ethics and the threats principles for example objectivity and all the things integrity professional competence all the things code of ethics threats self interest coercion a lot of things same but sbr question number 2 it's about accounting issues indulging ethical matter as well indulging ethical issues as well indulging ethical issues as well purely ethics eth purely uh, examiner expecting you must have to reply the ethics point with the seven marks but ethics is actually integrated with the accounting implications and some other issues as well so we need to learn that how to deal sbr ethical issues to get the marks of ethics as well and how to how to deal with the integrated part both things easy marks of the ethics 7 but it's or uh, it's also integrated with the other question part because 20 marks question includes ethical issue now current development this is current development some important things to notice that about the current development do remember that examiner particular mentioned that if something current development i will ask we never expect we never expect we never expect that um you have a very detailed inside knowledge of the current development we never expect very detailed inside about the current development instead instead we only expect the basic knowledge and the application of that knowledge about the current development but what are inside of the current development we will discuss later i am not discussing in detail about that but current development matter yes we will cover how to handle the current current development with that particular course now the another important point for today's agenda sbr past exam diagnosis past exam diagnosis first of all you people know very well that section a to all the paper compulsory section a to portion 50 marks that's 30 and 20 section b 25 marks 
multiply by 2. That's the exam formula structure. 100% CV. 1 by 1. Diagnosis 1 by 1. Section A. Question 1. And we will start the QBR session exactly with this. The 30 marks. Question. Majority related to group accounts. Majority. Majority is reflect 22, 23 out of 30. 25 these part. But do remember examiner never ask to make the consolidation. Never ask to make the consolidation. But major marks about the group. What about the others? Other marks related to other accounting issues. Normally examiner ask other accounting matters. But with section A question 1 other marks it may be other accounting issues most of the time. Least time something about current developments or conceptual framework. First priority is accounting standard. Number 2 conceptual framework. Number 3 current development. But not the ethics. So a smart technique that first we have to cover the section A question 1 question 1 Group accounts matter, including other aspects. How to deal this these points? Number two. Then we will move towards the ethics. Ethics point. So, for ethics point, that's twenty marks question. Question two. Seven marks related to ethical and related. Remaining thirty marks, thirty marks related to accounting issues or other issues as well. What are the other matters we will discuss later because ethics not necessary to examine in a straightforward. So how to handle the technique we will discuss during the session. Section, section A, Section B. We know that with Section A major mark, marks group, other something else. Section A, 20 marks question, sorry, Section A, first question group, Second question, accounting issues or other issues with ethics. But for section B, we totally blind. Case based, two questions, 25 marks, two questions. Discussion based, discussion, calculations, mixture. Most of the things are the discussion based. Involvement of performance measurement. Involvement of conceptual framework and also the involvement of some group account matters. So, what do you say? Group account matters? Yes. Section B the past analysis, the past diagnosis reflects any of the accounting standard, including group accounts. Some cases about the group accounts IFRS 10 matter, S27 matters, S28 matters. Other accounting is other than group accounting standards, majority about other than group accounting standards. IFRS 9, IS 38, blah blah. Performance measurement, conceptual framework. So anything can examine section B. And we have to practice the things accordingly that whatever examiner will ask, we should ready for all the things. Yes, ethics will not examine with the section B. Ethics will only examine with section A question 2. So, candidates, can you please reply me? Is that clear? Till now, whatever I have said to you. Now we will discuss SBR practice technique. How to handle the SBR practice technique. But it's important that we have to take short break of three to four minutes take a five minute short break then we will continue with the things important
okay once again welcome back second phase of the sbr afm or oh, sorry sbr qpc orientation so we have been discussing about what should be the right direction related to uh, the sbr revision and the examination so we discuss a lot of things that was about sbr examiner expectation syllabus insights and balance preparation that's very important now moreover sbr practice technique what is the right technique for sbr questions or sbr practice questions the very first thing believe on quality practice not on the quantity believe on the quality practice not the quantity what does that mean whatever the technique i am sharing with you you have to apply that particular techniques on the past paper of the sbr whatever the past paper available i will discuss i will uh, share a slide with you what past paper you have available and i don't suggest that you need to attempt anything about the previous previous subject that's called p2 and any questions of the revision kit either kaplan or uh, bbb that's led to the p2 questions no ignore whatever the question you uh, have done of the p2 that was about the regular studies for sbr revision you have to focus only the sbr past papers whatever the past papers available i will share with the document with the slide so apply this technique and that is the qualitative technique and what is this about the first thing is that for sbr technique the very important thing that is about the drafting and for drafting apply the rule of pack apply the rule of pack so first of all what does that mean number 1 whenever you are attempting any of the question whenever you are practicing any question when you, whenever you are simulating any question number 1 plan your answer before attack you have to plan planning includes two components knowledge component and connection with the scenario component and the planning includes the time management as well i will discuss later so p stands for plan a stands for apply knowledge c stands for connect the, the scenario so whenever you are planning whenever you attempt the question first of all you have to plan what the first thing to plan plan means if examiner asked with the scenario about the for example ifrs 5 so first of all you have to present the knowledge knowledge with the clarity of the matter concise clarity and concise if examiner ask something about related to ifrs five application either to apply the ifrs 5 held for sale or not first of all make a concise statement what the what's the requirement of ifrs 5 if examiner ask about the measurement of ifrs 5 we just mention the one or two lines about the measurement so depend on the scenario what examiner asking so apply knowledge one or two sentence about the knowledge and next one or two sentence connect with the scenario concise means concise means whatever asked by the examiner first mention the principle one or two lines one or two sentence and next one or two sentence connect with the case that is called concise clarity means your answer must be complete 
and clear means whatever examiner asks the principal you have mentioned with the clarity means clear sentence and complete and even i will write the things how to write the answer accordingly with the scenario sometimes and also connect with the case so first of all you have to plan things whenever you are planning these are the component of planning there are two component of the planning number one time management number two marks management for example if you are attempting any of the question you must aware that your total time it's 180 i know that 15 minutes extra for the reading and it's total part of the exam but uh we have to be conscious of, we have to develop a conscious approach with the minimum side 180 minutes for 100 marks so that means 1.8 minutes for each mark so we have to stick with the time allocated if you are attempting for the 10 marks question that means you have 18 minutes for planning and execution if you invest more time if you spend more time for that 10 marks question actually you are spending with that 10 marks question and at the end of the exam some of the some of the paper that's become unattended and you have to put your best effort that go to the examination and have to attempt 100 percent appropriate exam what i said 100 percent appropriate 100 percent is first thing what is the meaning of appropriate we i will discuss later so your motivation in your mind that i am here for 100 percent so be stick with the time management number one number two marks management before attacking you have to think in this manner with this attitude number one what to write that means plan your key points plan your key points for example there is a three marks question for example there are three marks question you are going to attempt first of all plan for three marks you have total five minutes one eight one point eight multiply by three and these things you need to plan. i'm not saying you will do exactly just with you will do that thing only with the exam no you have to practice the thing accordingly what i said earlier quality quality practice the thing accordingly 1.8 into 3 5 minutes practice the thing right now from tonight one minute means ideally 20 percent of your time for planning 20 percent four minutes for writing then you have to think what to write key points think about it what to write like this any of the question related to for example there's a question about damage non-current asset so you have to think impairment indicators first of all you have to think what are the impairment indicators indicators are with this scenario for example natural disasters for example decline of the customer demand for example share price decline this is one of the example another point first you say that okay i will write for two marks the indicator then final comments final comment means here these indicators reflect the impairment test or not there is impairment test we need to test the impairment or not so the, these things are important that is called quality practice quality practice means you have to attempt only the re, only the past paper that i mentioned to you with this application time management marks management i know that this is a difficult task you need to attempt or you need to do during this uh, revision session 
or during your revision. But I cannot guarantee you because no, as a human being, I don't know what will be your actual result. But I can assure you based on past experience, if you do the same thing, if you make practice with this aspect in the qualitative manner, one of the students who, who practiced with 200 questions, 200 questions without these techniques, but another students, another student, five slavers area, attempted 50 or 60 questions, coverage all slavers area, only 50, 60 questions. But with this rule, application of rule, believe me, you have a brighter chance to qualify the answer, to qualify your exam. More and more question practice without quality aspect, without meeting the examiner target, without considering old situation about time, about marks. You attempt 200, 300 question. After 200 question, if someone asks with that particular uh, student that are you able to manage the time? Are you able to manage the marks? Still, he or she is not confident. So what's the benefit of that practice? Be the hard worker, but incorporate the smart techniques. Put the hard working with the right direction. Are you getting the point? This should be your eye opening points. These are the key points which students ignore and we will endorse these things during our QPC, SBR QPC. Moreover, your real challenge, I'm sorry there's a mistake of the spell, there your real challenges. Number one, sir, if we attempt any of the question, so there are, we still struggling for time management. We're still struggling to approach the question. We're still struggling to recall what the uh, standard says, uh, which standard I have to apply. Sir, I, so how to motivate ourselves? Sir, another thing, pressure. Limited time, the job, doing the job, and other pressures, peer pressures like this. Sir, what to do for the remaining one month? What the strategy about it? After exam, after result, six weeks, four weeks, five weeks, what to do? Sir, these are the challenges. Do you agree that? These are the soft challenges you people face. Other challenge, sir, framing of the answer. How to drop the answer. Sir, how to manage time. How to revise entire syllabus. How to cover CB challenges. Candidates, I have already made these slides before the session. And you people, immediate before the survey, more or less mention these things. These are the common issues the SBR students or any student faces. But the point is that how to overcome this? Number one, lack of motivation and not handling the pressure. You have to motivate yourself. Mark my word, the growth it's not possible for any human growth in this manner. The growth always in this manner. That is up, down, up, down. But the important point is that you're continuously improving. So motivate yourself. If your first question, it's not under the time management, don't worry. You have to motivate yourself. I can do next one is better. And your next is better, second one is better, third one is better, fourth one is again down. It's not up to the mark. No worries. Stand up, keep moving. Your 
the most important motivation factor the most important motivation motivation factor is this i know the sbr syllabus is very much extensive i know that drafting techniques and recall of the things is very very uh, difficult coverage of the syllabus but do you know that the sbr passing ratio is very much better better even more than fr 48 49 51 50% you have approximately 50% chance to qualify to pass your exam so congratulations before starting before starting the revision or before starting this course 50% of your chance already booked that you will pass the exam rest 50% now the way start students actually mark my word i know the syllabus is very extensive but examiner here is never expecting about the accuracy of the answer rather than logical sequence so believe me you must start your preparation or revision for the logical sequence what is the meaning of logical sequence number 1 balance studies balance the important thing you have a good enough knowledge of entire syllabus good enough not perfect knowledge good enough knowledge of entire syllabus number 1 number 2 good enough appropriate knowledge of entire syllabus all five areas huh? knowledge of all five areas number 1 number 2 your answer must reflect the first thing planning planning about time marks Bef before attack you have to plan good for the war must have to plan good first of all good plan good plan about time and what to write then attack with what manner first of all write the knowledge and connect with the case planning about planning and execution for knowledge of the syllabus area whatever asking and connect with the case incorporating conciseness clarity and completeness you must have to start the things accordingly ignore that your final answer is right or wrong once again complete your syllabus number 1 number 2 logical sequence with planning and implementation with the pack rule last last time once again one sentence success is equal to knowledge of entire syllabus appropriate knowledge of entire syllabus plus technique of pack irrespectively your conclusion is become right or wrong examiner will not ex examiner never expect that your final answer is right or wrong if you do this equation if you perform this equation you will qualify the exam you will be able to qualify the exam so that is the point quick revision of the entire syllabus simulation with the rule of pack and at the last point at the last of the month i will share a mock exam and debriefing you have to follow this last point of today's agenda sbr qpc execution number 1 the very important thing very important thing these are the total pass exam question of sbr and recently acc also uh, published the paper of sbr march june 22 that's part of 
that is the part of uh, only the CB format, not with the PDF, only the CB format. And the answer also available. So number one, the first thing is this. There are total seven pass exam paper that's available with the CB plus two specimen. Total nine and three pass paper that's not available with the CB format, but available with the PDF format. So you have a target to apply all the knowledge with this 12 papers. Seven pass, seven and three, ten pass papers and two specimen papers. This is your entire practice. Uh, sorry, this is your entire uh, practice material. This is the practice material. This is the revision material. Number one, recall your knowledge from the regular studies, and this is your revision, revision material. Apply. The principle of the revision material, the rule of pack with all these components. Number one. Number two, the SBR QPC, you know very well that I've also published that. I will conduct the 30 marks, uh, the roadmap, the, the roadmap, the execution is this. First, I will pick up the uh, section A 30 marks question and I will conduct. Uh, the question practice course with the six question of the group accounts. The sequence I will share later. Then I will attempt the six live questions with ethics and 12 different question of section B 25 marks question. And of course, I will make a sequence in a manner that, for example, there are 12 questions and I there are 12 questions available for the group accounts. For example, uh, 12 questions available for section A, 30 marks, 12 questions. And if I attempt the 12, uh, six questions, rest of the six questions, you have to attempt by yourself and work out accordingly. And I will tell you what will be the sequence. Same for the second one, third one. And this is what about the sequence? Same sequence. I will uh, uh, use for the QPC, SBR QPC. Number two, SBR practice question. Inshallah, I will select the questions in a way where I will try to cover the entire syllabus areas. We will cover the drafting techniques. Yes, we will discuss the thing exclusively with a CB format. Sometime I will use the word. But I strongly suggest if I make some assignment to you people, you have to use the CB format. Not even if the questions are not available with the CB format, you have to attempt with the blank CB. One mock exam I will publish end of the August. Debriefing. It's about first week of August. Uh, I will share you the journal feedback. I'm not promising about the individual feedbacks and the marking. I'm not promising. It depends if I have time that I will mark an individual feedback. Otherwise, I will make a generic feedback about the common problems. I've already mentioned with my uh, documents and here as well that this course is about question practice course. So, I will assume here that you have a good knowledge of the syllabus. We will here to practice the questions rather than drill down the things about handling uh, the concepts. Course duration, four weeks. We will end uh, by second or third of the uh, September or end of this month, 40 to 50 hours. These are live schedules. If you are available with the live schedule, that's good. Otherwise you will get the material through the portal. The portal access will be available from third class, second or third class. So these are the timings. Then our next class will be on Saturday, 5.30 to 8.30. Uh, do remember that the course is about the life, but I will add some 
um, some of the material uh, of pre-recorded to expedite the syllabus. But that will be very much sequence to expedite the syllabus because time is very limited and we have to cover all the aspects. So live timings are fixed. If you missed any particular session, I will definitely uh, upload the sessions on the uh, portal and the portal access will be available till the exam date. Finally, the rule of the success is actually power of belief. You people say that you have a concern about the time management, marks management, a lot of things. It's all about power of belief. These two pictures are not the Photoshop. These are actual are real videos, are real pictures. If these people, <laughs> if he run the cycle, if she, um, um, if these people, if these people have no excuses to run the cycle or playing the tennis, that's what we have. The, why you people have the excuse that's not able to cover the time management, all the things. So let's start the QPC course sessions inshallah by uh, Saturday any of the question if you have you can ask me now the question answer sessions about the today's orientation that's all, all over sir will it be enough to have knowledge of all the slavers yes it's very important to cover the to cover the appropriate knowledge of entire syllabus, not the perfection, just a, an appropriate knowledge of entire syllabus. And then apply appropriate knowledge with the, these past papers. So automatically your knowledge become craft. So regular course is about getting the knowledge of the syllabus, appropriate knowledge and craft your skills. So practice in the thing. Are these questions from past paper? All the questions from past paper. I will attempt only the, the QPC. It's exclusively about the past paper question, not others. Only the past and recent most past paper questions. Yes, I will give you the roadmap. For example, if I start with the group accounts, I will uh, give you the complete roadmap the group account, the very first day. So at that particular day, you know well, um, at that particular time, you know that what will be the next question. So you have to attempt by your own and then compare your answer, what I am doing and compare the things accordingly. Because I will also share some suggested answers, which is also extract from the uh, model answer but up to the caliber of the students. Thank you very much, Tom. Uh, Del, please guide on the typo mistakes. Typo mistakes. Do remember that with the professional exams in the ACJ, the typo mistakes related to if it's uh, if it's about something grammatical mistakes, that's not considerable. But if some type of mistakes related to um, spell mistakes, so try to avoid that. But auto speller, auto spell mistake identifier, it's already the part of the world. So don't be so worried about that. Don't take so much stress. Just making a practice, you will get the things accordingly. Uh, if any of the people have haven't registered for that particular course, do contact uh, me on the WhatsApp or uh, the or my representative. You can contact double zero nine two three two one eight two seven one seven eight four. The students who are who already uh, my regular students who are already registered for QPC. That's. Not, this message is not about them. 
who haven't registered for that that regular course or the QPC course, contact here or the or my representative. Anything else you wanted to know? We will meet, inshallah. It's important that before Saturday, you must have to make a quick overview about the complete syllabus area of the group accounts, including the lectures or including the notes you have. You have to quickly work out. Thank you. Anything else you wanted to know? I. If you think that this session is valuable for you, I strongly suggest to uh, share a constructive feedback on the relevant WhatsApp group. Relevant WhatsApp group. Please share your valuable inputs, a constructive inputs on the relevant WhatsApp group. Constructive feedback, constructive. If you are not part of the WhatsApp group, you can uh, share me your input for personally on the WhatsApp as a constructive group. The session is over. If anyone have any question, you can ask me. Otherwise, any of you people can leave. Either the classroom group or the open public group of the WhatsApp, wherever you want, Julie. A constructive feedback that's important. Thank you very much. Take care a lot. And assalamu alaikum. Any of you, if you ask any more question, you can coordinate me on the WhatsApp. Thank you.